Welcome to our lecture online. Our next playlist in algebra deals with multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Now, as you will find out, that it's actually easier than adding and subtracting. That will come in a later playlist. We'll tackle those then. But now, let's first learn about some basic rules so we can multiply and divide rational expressions. First of all, if we have the product of two rational expressions like this, we simply multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. Note that A, B, C, and D are representative polynomials, so what works for numbers or variables works exactly the same for polynomials. Now, if we have one rational expression divided by another rational expression, we can turn that into multiplication by taking an inverse of the second rational expression. So we take the inverse of that, so instead of c over d, we have d over c, then we turn the division into multiplication, and of course, then we use the first rule again to write it like that. And if we have one polynomial multiplied times another rational expression with polynomials, then notice we can simply take a times b in the numerator and c in the denominator. So it works exactly the same as it does for numbers or for variables. So now we're going to do a few examples of that. Notice when we take this, this can be written as 3x multiplied times 2x in the numerator. And in the denominator, this can be written as y multiplied times y squared. And then if we work this out, that would be 6x squared divided by y cubed. So you can see that this can simply be written as this, which is the same as that. Very straightforward. Now when we have something like this where we're dividing, that can be rewritten as a multiplication by taking the inverse of this. So this can be written as a plus b over 2x minus 5. We don't need to put parentheses there. We can leave parentheses up because when we have this division line here, the divisor, that means that a plus b with parentheses means exactly the same as that. There's no difference. But now we're going to multiply this times the inverse of that. So we simply flip this over, 6x over 3 times a plus b. Here, of course, we do need the parentheses because we're multiplying times 3. And then we can say that this is the same as the quantity a plus b multiplied times 6x. Now, of course, we don't need this multiplication symbol here. We can simply write it without it. That's implied divided by 2x minus 5, which is what we have over here multiplied times 3 times a plus b. That should be a b right there. All right. Now we have the fun part where we can simplify things. So a plus b and a plus b, that cancels out. That becomes a 1. This becomes a 1. A 3 and a 6. This becomes 1. This becomes 2. And then we can simply write this as, well, I'm running, running out of room here. So we have a 2x in the numerator. Yes, 2x in the numerator, and we have a 2x minus 5 in the denominator. So this would then be the simplified form of what we started with. And then here in the denominator, I'm here at the bottom, not the denominator. Let me put a line there. Okay, now here we could use the third rule, where this can be written as a quantity 2x minus 3 times 4x minus 1. And notice I don't have to put a multiplication symbol in there. That's simply implied divided by what we have here in the denominator, 2x minus 3. And then we can see that this and this clearly cancels out, and therefore we're left with simply 4x minus 1. So here are some nice examples that show the three basic rules that we have to keep in mind when we multiply and divide rational expressions. And that's how it's done.